What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the vlog today. Um, I'm finally upgrading my winch. So as some of you may know, my car this entire time has been running a Grande that used to be in Sam's car. So before the Dominators were even a thing. And that thing served me well. As you all should know, the winch cops a hell of a time with the trooper because when it bottoms out, it's really badly bottomed out. And I'm actually really surprised that it lasted this long, no rebuilds, nothing. It just got slapped in and it just worked. But it was coming to the end of its life. You could definitely hear it. Um, it was extremely loud. It definitely didn't really pull that hard. But Carbon have come to the rescue and they've just sent me out this brand new winch. It's a 12,000 pound winch. No, it is not a high mount. Um, I do plan on in the in the future having a high mount just because they're cool. That takes a lot of work and a lot of money to get a high mount in there. This is actually a really nice bit of kit. It comes with everything that you need. I've been having a good look over everything and then planning out what I'm going to do. And just to show some features on it, you've got a breather, um, which is always good on winches because they do get covered in mud. You got your, your rope and then your free spool switch, which is probably the smoothest one I've ever felt in my entire life. Obviously it comes with everything that you need, which is your control box, got your fair lead, hook, your wired remote if you have to, but it also has this wireless remote, which is what I plan on using most of the time. It's got the breather, which is always good because you know the winches get covered in mud all the time, all the stuff to utilize the breather. And I think that is pretty much it that comes with it. It's just the little things like this, this remote here, I first looked at it and I was like, that looks a bit janky, but then I thought about it. You're gonna be winching in, which is down like that. And then you're trying to hold the wheel at the same time. This is actually very comfortable to hold it down and try and drive at the same time. It's all like rubber, this whole remote. So it's not actually, so it can actually like grip onto the steering wheel and then you can do that and actually have some kind of control. Not that I plan on using that remote too much because I wanna use that one. Um, because, well, wireless, it's a lot easier. Now this box, what I recommend you do with winches is kind of plan out what you want to do first and then pretty much the only thing you have to plan out is where the hell you're going to put this box. Really, there is no great spots for control boxes on winches. Normally, you'll just chuck it on the front here, which is what I've done in the past, but it just looks bad, uh, it restricts airflow as well. I'm actually going to move this little relay box and, or whatever it's called, I actually don't know what that is for. Put it there, I'm just going to move that down, put the control box here, put the kill switch right there, and we should be golden. As you can see, we've already got the other winch out. I recommend that you have someone to help. This, oh, is, this is Bailey, if you haven't seen him on the channel before, he has been there. around. Preferably three people to put the winch in, but we should be able to do it with two. Um, oh, that's, I forgot, forgot to get the other rope. They also sent me out this rope, which is just their premium rope. Um, in my opinion, it looks nicer and it also has a sleeve around it which then makes it better for if you're dragging it over rocks or through trees and whatnot. That makes me happy that I have that. As you can see in the differences in the ropes, this is unprotected, whereas this is protected, so much better. But yeah, for now we've got another late night shed install, which is always what happens on this channel. I reckon we just get into it. The first thing is to mount the winch in there itself um, because obviously that's the main thing to do. The most awkward bit is trying to hold the winch and screw it in at the same time. Obviously this varies depending on what bar you have. My one, you have to drop it in from the top because well, there's not a chance of going in from underneath but some bars it's actually easier to lie on the ground and push it up and then have someone else do it from there but yeah, you ain't getting to the ground on my one. You've got these little square nuts which then slide in there. Now you do have a little taper, the camera would focus. There is a little taper on them on one side. Make sure that that goes facing you when you're putting it in. So the taper is facing the camera at the moment and it slides in like that. Then your bolt goes through. So obviously you want them all in there before you lift it in. I've just cut this off so that we can feed that through the bull bar um, as we lift it in, just to make our lives easier. Um, before we put it in, I actually just took the rope out because it makes a lot more sense to have it out because it's lighter and easier to hold. So, let's put it in. Now we have to get you to hold it. Drop it, find it. Nope, oh, that one fell out. Too low, down. Deep star. Is that a shit? Nah. It hits on the thing. It's 
All right, right, so we have the winch in. Now this wasn't the easiest. Um, had to actually, oh, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. This is, this is because of the bar I have, but I had to make just a couple of spacer plates here to space it back because it wasn't gonna fit properly. I believe if you have like a normal ARB bar that it would mount differently, like flat like that, and it would make a lot more sense and work a lot better. But it's in, um, we're just running the wires through here. Make sure you definitely make sure you put conduit on these. It's no, no questions asked because um, there's a lot of power that runs through them. But what we are doing is we've mounted the control box here, which then gets it off of the bar from the front. So it's a much clean, one, it's a much cleaner look. Two, more airflow, which is always a good thing. Threading the wires through, you just go colors to the colors. The actual wire inside of winches is very simple. And then we just gotta run something for the breather. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I look like it, but I'm absolutely wrecked. It, that that took a, a long time because it just didn't want to work. I had to find different bolts because the old ones weren't long enough. And I've been doing a lot of work on this car as of recent, and because this isn't this is not very this video is not very long after the turbo got put in and the rear locker, which I finished wiring up tonight. So I don't have much of a life at the moment. How you going there? Yeah, struggling. Just holds a. It's just the right size, just but it's all right because we got conduit on it, so we're all good. It's pro wire approved. <laughs> all right so just on that side we mounted the kill switch um and then we got our little breather just chilling right here uh which runs out there nice and neat so our next challenge is getting the grill back on because we run these over there so i don't know if the grill will, will just be able to fold around it or if i just have to notch the grill a little bit which is no big deal i have to say i do rate not having a control box on the front like that looks so much better because it was quite full with the cause normally the light bar is on just a little bit of wire and work in this mess absolute mess yeah let's keep going it's getting late now so like it actually is getting late is it mm. oh yeah 11 30. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i somehow managed to actually delete the last video of the install. I think I transferred all the videos except for the last one onto my computer and then I wiped my card. I've, I've been using the winch for a little bit. Um, as many of you may know if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, um, I actually did break it, but I didn't really break it in a bad way. Like I put it through hell. I broke a lot of things and relied heavily on the winch. We definitely overheated it a bit. Um, the actual winch itself, like, in the front is not broken it's just i'm pretty sure it's like a relay or something because it'll go one way and it'll just click for going the other way like the control box will just click so i'm pretty sure it's just some little electrical thing it was working hard because i don't have any clips of it working i'll throw in a few clips from the up and coming videos of me actually using this winch nice free spool <laughs> That is a whole lot of crew carry I get pulled up the station. Gee, it's working hard. Look at that we go. So as you can see for a low mount, pulls pretty good. I mean, it's not gonna be as fast as a high mount. Basically, I am pretty happy with it. It does suck that it did break, but I think I know what that's from because I put the control box in the engine bay. The engine bay got really hot too, and I think it might have just cooked something in the control box. But as you can see here, I just notched out the, the grill a little bit, so then all the wires run through there. Um, and you cannot really see anything it looks so much better like this one thing the rope isn't in it because i had to take it out but i managed to break that premium rope not break it but i'll overlay a video here of what, what it looks like but on my bar up on the inside and on the edges here there was actually a little lip and where this winch sits it must just sit slightly differently to the all the other ones that i've had and it just managed to if it bound up enough in, in one spot it would hit that as it was pulling in under tension and it would, it sheared the that like protective layer off. And at first I was like, oh, I've stuffed it. But then I realized 
that's the protective layer that's doing its job. So without that, that kind of would have sucked a lot because it would have just sheared the rope itself. Obviously it's not ideal. I didn't know that that was gonna happen obviously because we were out on the tracks and then we didn't have anything or any time to like fix that issue so I just had to roll with it. But if I didn't have that double layer rope, it probably would have put me in a bad spot. But yeah, when I do the relay or whatever's broken with it, I haven't fixed it yet. It was working hard. I broke a lot of other things on that trip too. Um, you can either go to our Instagrams to find out or just stick by on the channel and you'll see. The winch is installed. It looks so much cleaner than what it was before. Um, I also didn't put the light bar back on just because I wasn't really happy with having one there. Yeah, there's just a quick little mod video for you on the Troopy. I have a lot of mods to do on this car and especially with what I broke, I have a lot to fix. <laughs> there might be more videos like this if you guys like them. Yeah, let me know down in the comments. Um, big shout out to Carvin for sending that out and letting us test it out. I think we'll end it there. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor, what's more, Triple J is